Well, look, I, I first of all, yes, I am Finnish, but I've been living in uh, Singapore since 1986. So uh, uh, I think in that respect, uh, my my how should I say my my view on investments is is pretty global and not really from a Finnish perspective. Uh, Manchester United, why? Well, listen, I think it all started from the fact that uh, uh, I have uh, several companies uh, in the digital media field, and one of them, which we started in 2016, and it's called Circle of Champions, is developing services for football fans. And we have had over the years contracts with several big clubs, uh, basically all the big clubs in Europe, and we have produced uh, extremely good results. So. For example, uh, one of the one of the things that we have created is a is a simple mobile game where you win a week with the club that you are a fan of. So a fan in let's say Shanghai can be invited to spend a week in Manchester where he watches the game from a VIP box in Old Trafford hosted by former stars. He spends uh, time at the training, he gets uh, fan products and so forth. So he basically gets a price that is worth uh, tens of thousands of, of dollars and basically a price that you cannot buy because uh, there is no shop where you can buy these experiences. No, no. So as a result of that, we have uh, we have achieved up to 400 euros per year per fan who plays uh, this game. And that is the reason, uh, or rather the answer to your question, Manchester United has the biggest global fan base in the world, between 650 and some estimate up to a billion. Yeah. So... It's easy to calculate. If every single, let's say it's a billion, everyone would play this game and everyone you would use 400 euros, that's 400 billion euros. Now, I'm not suggesting that everybody will play, but even, even if we say that just 1% plays it, we are still talking about 4 billion annually. So, and that is just one example of, of, of the many ways that you can create services for fans. So my investment strategy, I have an investment company that is investing in sports, as well as in fashion and digital media, is to go after big clubs with big fan bases because that enables a monetization, which enables the club to be profitable, which enables me to build a team that becomes the best in the world. So that yeah. is a long answer to a, to a, to a short question, but uh, I wanted to give you the background. I mean, basically, in, in, in public, there has been three bidders for Manchester United. It's yeah. uh, Sheikh Yassim from Qatar. It's uh, Jim Ratcliffe, the richest man in England, and myself. So I'm not at the level of Jim Ratcliffe or Sheikh Yassim as comes to my personal wealth. But, uh, you know, I'm wealthy enough to be able to table a credible bid together with others. So it's a consortium that I put together. I have an investment company called 21st Century Capital, which I now also has a subsidiary called 21st Century Football Capital, which is focused purely on football investments in Europe. And the reason we set this up was because while we still hope that uh, we will be successful in our bid for Manchester United, increasingly, it's, frankly, to me, seems like there might not even be a sale, that the Glazers uh, have not, you know, there's six siblings, I think they don't agree. And uh, I think we could end up in a situation where they will keep the club. So in that respect, we are already preparing uh, for other club uh, investments and uh, we are already looking at some other clubs in Europe as well and uh, even having some preliminary discussions.